just thought it was funny Bill O'Reilly discussing funk. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right in the liberal media. Blah, blah, in the blah, liberal blah, media blah. culture, insults to the president, whether it's Danny DeVito's, mm -hmm. I don't know if you're using oh, the word, yeah. but numb blank, right. or whether it's somebody calling the president a Nazi, a fascist, a moron, check, check. you know, uh, whatever <laughs> yeah. it is. These it. things don't have any more effect on the liberal media culture than water does on a fish. Oh. It's the same thing. So the liberal media culture never made fun of Bill Clinton? Yeah, no, they never well, made no. any jokes about that. <laughs> yeah, we had a congressman that called the president a scumbag on the floor of, uh, remember Bob Barr called yeah. the president? Yeah, yeah. okay. All right, oh dear God, they're just beating this Danny DeVito this issue. His personal life is so tidy. Yeah. When he went into the Klan meeting of The View, what? he knew what? he was in... Absolutely. Excuse me, that oh, excuse me. It, is he just talking about people calling the president a Nazi? And yeah. is he just calling the women on The View Nazis? But yeah, they are. They're, anno the they're annoying, I give you. <laughs> but Nazis? <laughs> when he went into the Klan meeting of The View, he knew he was in Absolutely. company that Comfort would zone. laugh and howl and slap their knee. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, I misspoke. He didn't call them Nazis. He called them Klan, Klan. members. Did, what's that? I don't even get what that's based on. Hmm? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, Bill O'Reilly explaining why his uh, ratings are dropping like a rock. <laughs> and my future husband, Keith Olbermann, is gaining on him. The Fox News Channel, interestingly enough, uh -huh. we've been attacked for 10 years oh, by dear. our competitors and others who don't like uh, oh, the editorial bent. <laughs> um, and some of those attacks have been effective in, in, in driving people who don't know the channel, who don't watch the channel. They go, oh, that Fox News. And then when you say, well, what's wrong with it? They, well, I don't watch it. You know, that kind of a thing. Oh, Bill, that's why everybody's leaving. Couldn't be because you're a repetitive right-wing blowhole and everybody's sick of you, could it be? I think that's it. <laughs> Speaking of repetitive, oh, look, it's time for Sean Hannity. <laughs> oh, try it again with the DeVito. Where is the outrage over Danny DeVito's drunken outburst? Would a conservative Come ever on. have gotten away with that sort of behavior? Huh, well, the vice president, stone yeah. cold sober, told a senator to go himself on the floor of the Senate. Hmm, let's see. And then not so where he shot a friend in the face, uh, just right there. Yeah. Seems like two Republican incidents in one. It seemed like a bigger deal. And he got okay. away with them. Uh, okay, so uh, is this... <laughs> How unbelievable this, speaking of racism. Yeah. So we have, uh, what's his name? Keith the, Ellison. Yeah, no, the oh. I know, the first Republican uh, congressman. Right. But first of all, we had uh, Glenn Beck ask him uh, to prove to him why he's... The first uh, Muslim congressman, not Republican. Congressman. Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. first Muslim congressman, yes. but uh, Glenn Beck asked him to prove why he's, uh, that he's not a terrorist, basically. Right. Because he's Muslim, so therefore he must be. So now, have you heard this ridiculous, uh, who started this? Dennis, Dennis Prager? Prager. This yeah. right-wing radio host, who we used to work with. See, it's hard because I know all these guys, and he oh, no. seems like a nice guy. It's just, I swear to God, they get on the air, and they become, like, Satan. I don't know. So he started this thing. He's got to know. He's a smart guy. Right. He's got to know this is not even true. He's talking. I guess he started this whole thing that uh, Keith Ellison um, uh, announced he would not take his oath of office on the Bible, but on the Koran. And... That's, his, that's his book of, of religion. So, of right. course he's going to take an oath on that. Well, but first of all, they were saying his column is based on another glaring error. The swearing-in ceremony for the House of Representatives never includes a religious book of any kind. That is true. <laughs> so it's like, it's one of these ridiculous right-wing non-issues. Uh, bloggers on the left and right, by the way, tore, tore his argument apart on constitutional terms, mm -hmm. like what you just said. Mm -hmm. But but add to that, it's not even true that it just... Ended. On what grounds will those of you defending this, this congressman's decision and his right to choose his favorite book, you know, would you allow them to choose, you know, Hitler's Mein Kampf, oh, which on. is the Nazi Bible? In other words, uh, uh, where does this stop? Is there, is there any limitations whatsoever? Does anybody get any choice they want? How about... And about thanks that? for playing really bad analogies. Why, why not that Jew Bible, the, the Old Testament? How huh? would you allow that? Huh? I would have no problem with that if a member of the LDS Church wants to, you know, swear an oath on the Book of Mormon. Comparing the Quran to Mein Kampf. What? That's fine. Uh, exactly. Idiot. Come on. Uh, 
That is just... So, uh, he had his friend in a spring. Dennis, right. let me ask you this. You said the very act undermines American civilization. I want you to explain oh, yes. why you, you wrote that why you believe that. Well, of course, because this civilization is dependent upon <laughs> notions that derive from that book. The Liberty Bell did not take a verse from any other book than our Bible. Oh, come on. Sir, it's, you, the, you really... We, are... we based our values on this book. Hey, here's a little fun fact for you to blow holes. Uh, <clears throat> the, uh, the, what you actually, uh, you raise your right hand when you're sworn into the mm -hmm. House of Representatives and, uh, you swear to uphold the Constitution. Yeah. Which yeah. is kind Not of a Bible. crazy thing. Not the Bible. Yeah, because we have a weird thing called separation of church and state, so you're actually not. The Constitution and is the only document. The fathers were mostly deists anyway. Mm -hmm. They were not. <laughs> God. And in, in court, fundamentalist Christians by any stretch of the imagination. And in court, if you are an atheist, you don't have to swear on any book. You can just, you know, swear on. Well, right, because yeah. it would be meaningless to you. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so. All right. Well, you know why we think that? Because we are Democrats and we are unglued. We have had. So All right. Many... So we had the Mirtha fiasco for oh, Pelosi. Fiasco. Then we go through Al C. Hastings. I read Michael Moore's blog saying if you don't pull out now, we'll go after you harder than we would go after Republicans. Eventually. It seems to me that Democrats are mm. trying for the next two years not to show themselves to be liberal in any way, but they're going to start getting a lot of pressure from the left to govern their way, considering that they, they feel entitled, that they're the ones mm. that got them elected. Do you see that pressure building? Oh, Are you just crazy? You are crazy.